so we're looking at your second act we shot here and in your email you're saying um, if I think you have any shots show to the end of the demo reel let's check this out the choice is yours kiss Emma and remove her powers or everyone she loves dies it's cool actually it's very cool the choice is yours the choice is yours Bouncy, that hand, bong, you can see it's like it hits a wall, it's basically why you go up, boop, over there, it's basically your, your arc, if you trace this, is doing this, so you gotta have a little bit more of a ease in here, and like an arc, an arc, right, so you go up, 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 boom, hits a wall, boom, hits a wall, that's better, so technical uh, aspect here, kiss Emma, and Kiss Emma. I wouldn't do that blink. It's a weird synced blink with that word, and it makes her look less intense. The choice is yours. You know, you can just after yours. You can, like right around here, you can do a blink. Kiss Emma and remove her powers, or everyone she loves. On everyone, I would. Sorry, there's a little hiccup in the recording. Um, sorry, so I would have her on here. Uh, rotate that head over, so we can tilt. So it's a, not just that little head shake, but also like the main thing to me is that she's always in this line and moving forward in that one axis. It's just the one axis thing. Everyone she loves dies. It's a bit even in timing how she goes back here. If you watch this, everyone she loves dies. The dies is great. That's super cool. This feels a bit too pronounced in terms of such a big arc versus just a bit more of a squeeze in the cheeks up. Uh, I'll just kind of reduce that curve just a bad tad. But yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, my, my thing is only like this is cool, right? Because you're going up and you're going from this to this, like there's a bit of a sideways tilt. And then after all this, all this, all this, right? I can scrub through. It's all the same, and that's why I'm saying when she goes something like this, she can have a tilt forward, and then when she goes back here, it could have a slight tilt in Y over with a little bit tilt this way, and then come back. So it just feels like complexity wise, it needs a bit more. Um, like even through here, she's all very, very locked in one axis, but like, duh, it's the intensity and everything is really cool. Um, I would also take out quiver in the lower lid. It's just a bit this gets into that lower eyelid twitch territory. I would just keep this A more intense and then careful I will bring down the pupils so your eye box go a bit lower because you're, you're losing the pupils almost halfway in there so they're starting to get lost <coughs> in that pose. I go down a bit here but it's a bit too high. That's better you know what I mean? Like that's max. Here we're covering a lot. So you're getting a crazy croissant-like shapes with covering the pupils, which is lovely. The choice is yours. Kiss Emma and remove her powers, or er yeah, that's it. I'd love to just, you know, take the idea and look at the accents of what you can do in your Y rotation and also side to um, left and right tilt instead of just everything going forward in that axis. If that makes sense. Super cool though, and yes, absolutely demo real. I would just add those complexities because it's a really cool shot ender. Like it's very tense. Imagine you're ending your reel with this. Boom! Credits. Very cool. Alright, thanks. Alright, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. Alright, thank you.